everybody welcome back to my channel so today i'm coming to you with my put it to use pull it out collaboration video and i'm going to come to you with my face of the day and the products that i use to create this space so if you're interested please stay tuned okay so first and foremost i'm gonna get into what i put on my face and <clears throat> No surprise, I use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer in the purple and white container. This is definitely a staple and will be in my stash going through rotation for a long time. Um, I did not color correct, but I did use the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Foundation in the color Coconut. I also have the color Almond, which I think is better for like the spring and the winter time, even the fall months, but with me getting a tan, coconut is a great match for me right now. Okay, for my eye primer, I use this Elizabeth Mott Thank Me Later Eyeshadow Primer, and I received this in an Ipsy bag a while ago, and I was on my um, use up these things that you're getting from your Ipsy bag. Because what I would normally do is just take out the items I normally use, like the lip glosses, and I would literally leave everything else inside the bags. So what I've been doing for like probably the past year now is taking everything out, putting it in places where I know I use my products, and putting it to use. <laughs> I really have been sticking so to do my eyebrows. I did use my ColourPop brow pencil. This one is in... Which one is this? Black and brown. And I'm going to have to get me another one of those because I think I'm almost running low on it. Even though I do have uh, Banging Brunette, I like black and brown a lot now. I don't know. Love-hate relationship with that. And then to clean up my brows, underneath I've been using the Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. This is in Dose de Leche number 15. And I feel like the match under my brows is such a natural, natural match. Like... It's so natural that I'm like, did I even do anything under that my brows? Because it's just that of a great match. So the other product was the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Chestnut I used to clean up the top of my and brows. And this is another perfect match. I also use this when I want to conceal on my face. Um, next, for my eyes, I was watching my girl Candy Couture on YouTube. She also has a YouTube channel, so I will leave the link to her video, which inspired me to use my palette, which is the Coastal Scents customizable palettes so I pulled out my baby that I made about two years ago and the colors that I used were not only from Coastal Scents because I also deep potted the black opal um, eyeshadow duo quad the little duo quad thingies and I used this I know is Oktoberfest up here I used chocolate tea over here and then I used this color, which was from the Black Opal um, duos. And then another color I used from Coastal Scents was this one called New Pen. And then I did use a little bit of this black over here, which came out of the Black Opal duo um, eyeshadows. I did use a little bit of that. I mixed the both of them, chocolate here and the black, because I didn't want it too black. But I still wanted to deepen my outer V and a little bit of my crease. So this, I did pull out the stash because like I said, I made this two years ago. But to be honest with you, I could honestly use this palette on a regular everyday basis just because the colors were literally something I thought about, thought about, thought about, went in, took things out, put things back in. Like I really took my time customizing this palette. That's why I have not made another one yet, even though I keep wanting to make another one. So, okay, moving on from eyeshadow. I didn't use any lashes, but I did use the L'Oreal Voluminous primer which I received in that influence the Vox box and then I also use the CoverGirl super size of fiber mascara I really like this mascara a lot so much so that I re-upped on it because I like it so very much I don't know what it's like honestly it grabs all of your lashes especially when you start at the base and then you wiggle the um the wand it just grabs all your lashes really well um, I also use chocolate tear to smoke out my bottom lash line. And on my actual waterline, I use this Maybelline Eye Studio Gel. This is in Blackest Black. And it's a gel eyeliner from Maybelline. And I've been using that on my waterline because my allergies have been acting like freaking crazy. So I was like, I'm going to go use... I'm going <laughs> to use the gel um, eyeliner because I heard it's really good for the waterline area because it won't um, smudge and it won't like move or anything like that. So moving on, um, 
for my inner corner highlight, I did use Candyman from the ColourPop um, Super Shock Cheek. This is their, this is a Super Shock Cheek. I thought this was, hold on. Look at that. Okay. They all say that. Let me make sure they all say that. <laughs> Because I could have sworn that they're, um, they say highlighters, but I didn't know they say super shock cheek because I thought that's what the blush says. But okay, so yeah, I use Candyman. That's one of their new release colors. And I actually like that color a lot. So <clears throat> to set my face, I use this Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. And this is another item that I've been pulling out the stash because I've had this as well for two years. I didn't know what to do with this powder when I first um, started getting into makeup. I had wanted to mention that, like, did you ever find yourself when you first got into makeup buying things but didn't know what the heck you were going to do with it? Like, I didn't know what this finishing powder was. I didn't even know what to do with it. Like, honestly, I used to just use it for my eyeshadow transition area because I was just, I didn't even know what the transition area was. <laughs> Let No, I ain't even going to get into all that. But anyway... So now that I've gotten more experienced and I know what to do with it, you know, this is my finishing powder. <laughs> that cracks me up all the time. Uh, to bronze, I did use the CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer. It looks like this is like probably the only bronzer that I really use or even purchase. Because, I mean, some things say bronzers, but they're more like highlighters. So I won't even consider those to be bronzers. Um, the next item I used was the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. And I just used the contour shade. This is the medium to dark palette, and I use this contouring shade right here. I use it for my nose, and I use it for my um, cheekbones, which I already have defined cheekbones, but I like to make it a little bit more, um, a, not even more apparent, because it's when you put the foundation on, it kind of takes away all of the definition in your face, so that's why I went in with that. Excuse me. Um, the next item I used was this Laura Geller Baked Gelato vivid flower blush dahlia and it was just so pretty i got this from hotlook.com and this item just caught my attention because do you see that beautiful flower right there it is just so freaking pretty so i use that it does have a little bit of light shimmer in it but for the most part it's really nice and it's really subtle which is what i have on right now i've had this on since i've done since i did my makeup about four hours ago this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss from that full lip gloss set that I did do lip swatches on. And if you would like to see those lip swatches of the full set, you could definitely go ahead and check the description box as well as the cards because I will leave that linked above. But this is the color Berry. And um, I did reapply it because I ate or whatever like that, but I really love how these feel. Like, they don't get nasty and you know how sometimes i don't know they get your lips from the saliva and all of that stuff it kind of get caked up no i like these a lot um for finishing spray i did use where is it <clears throat> for setting spray i used the matte finish long lasting setting spray it looks like this and then i went over top of that with the mac fix plus and i believe that is everything that i use today for my I face hope you all day. enjoyed this collaboration that we all are doing again the participants are shade space justinetta cupcakes and makeup and diva's house so definitely go and check out the other ladies videos and their channels and subscribe to their channels as well i hope you were all able to follow along with us and pull items out of your own stash and thank you for supporting us bye